Hello friends, this video on matter and magnetism part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 23 before going ahead with part 24. Theory of paramagnetism. So how do we, um, how, how do we um, explain the paramagnetic behavior of materials? Now, when I talk about paramagnetism, we will again first talk about the scenario when no external magnetic field is applied. So, in this case, as I defined in case of paramagnetism, what happens? Each atom has a net magnetic moment. It is not that the magnetic moment is zero in this case. In this case, each atom will have a net magnetic moment. That is, that means that the magnetic, that the orbital magnetic moment and the spin magnetic moment, they will not exactly cancel out each other. So there will be a non-zero magnetic moment of each atom. But the magnetic moment are randomly oriented for all the atoms. As you can see here, if you see here, the magnetic moments are randomly oriented. So what is the result of this? Because of random orientation of magnetic fields, the net magnetic moment of the entire substance comes out to be zero, right? So what happens in absence of magnetic field? Net magnetic moment of each atom is not equal to zero, right? For each atom, there is a net magnetic moment. But the magnetic moments are randomly oriented. As a result, the net magnetic moment of the entire substance is not very high considerably when there is when the abs i'm talking about absence of magnetic field right now there is no magnetic field that is applied so i hope you understand the difference right first comes electrons electrons come inside atom and atoms together make the entire substance so in the previous case the inside the atom itself the electrons used to cancel out their orbital magnetic moment and spin magnetic moment therefore the net magnetic moment of each atom was zero in this case the net magnetic moment of each atom is non zero but the atoms the this these magnetic moment of each atom they all randomly orient themselves such that the net magnetic moment of the entire substance is considerably not very high, right? Now, what happens when we apply an external magnetic field? So, in this case, as I said, the net magnetic moment per unit volume is zero. This is due to the random orientation of the magnetic moment. As you can see here, see, if there is one magnetic moment in this direction there is some other magnetic moment which is in the opposite direction like this is in this direction this is in the opposite direction so that means they all get cancelled out now what happens when we apply an external magnetic field when we apply an external magnetic field all the magnetic moments they orient towards the applied magnetic field right so they will start orienting along the magnetic field as a result what will happen the net magnetic moment per unit volume for the substance as a whole it will increase and the substance will get magnetized right so in presence of magnetic field specific orderly orientation of magnetic moment takes place so once it is specific, uh, orderly orientation that means the substance gets magnetized right now what happens so in this case the net magnetic moment per unit volume is not zero so they, this this itself means that the substance got magnetized right now in this case in case of paramagnetism what happens now if you heat this object what will happen as soon as we start heating the object the atoms will start moving again, right? So that means random motion will start again. So the specific orientation will break down and disorientation will occur again. As a result, the substance will get demagnetized. So if you heat a paramagnetic substance, disorientation occurs again and random movement starts. And as a result, the sub magnetization is lost and the substance gets demagnetized again. Right? So that is why we say that for a paramagnetic substance, the magnetic susceptibility decreases with increase in temperature. Right? Because when we increase the temperature, we are basically 
heating that object when we are heating the object the molecules start getting random they start moving randomly as soon as the random motion starts the uh, the, the magnetization is lost that is the substance again gets demagnetized when the net magnetic moment per unit volume becomes zero so that, that is why we say that susceptibility decreases with increase in temperature. So you can note this here. Okay, so this is a point to be noted. When temperature increases, what happens? Disorientation occurs. As a result, the substance gets demagnetized. Right? So we can say that Magnetic susceptibility decreases with increase in temperature. Right? So now, thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.